Waiting for this for a long time, Chopsley. At last, we're going to be able to get even. Oh, oh, oh look busy. Well, good evening, my friends of science. <laughs> Those of the higher order, I know you're out there. Of course, you caught us a little unexpectedly here. We weren't quite ready. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, we have a little emergency situation we're facing. See, ever since our illustrious electric company heard about what we're going to reveal tonight, they have been threatening to cut off our electricity. <laughs> so we've been working around the clock to publicly spring a little surprise on them before the night is over. And of course, the first surprise is coming <laughs> right now. That's why I was waiting for you to be turned on. They always call and embarrass me at the wrong moment. <laughs> I'm gonna call them and embarrass them at the wrong moment. Uh, hello, operator, this is Morgus. Uh, Mor the Magnificent. Uh, Collect me, uh, connect me with the electric company right away, quickly. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> must be a new girl. You must be a new girl, eh? <laughs> oh, oh, fine, yeah, you're a boy. Well, okay, I, sometimes you can't tell the voices. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I appreciate it, yes. <laughs> well, some of them are very nice. Oh, hello there, electric company. This is Morgus. <laughs> Listen, what about this bill? You've been billing me every single day. Now, that's kind of, that's kind of nasty, isn't it? I mean, you don't send these people a bill every day. I get a bill here, let's see, $5,982. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, the account number. Oh, down at the bottom, yeah. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, $820. $822. Come on here, for one day. You, listen. <laughs> I got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Guess what? As of tonight, your company is being fired as my supplier of electricity. You got that? No, I'm not kidding. Just wait and see. <laughs> wow, how do you like that? Boy, are they shaking up. <laughs> Friends, I've got something for all of us that will teach these characters something they will not forget, believe me. <laughs> they. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I knew that would happen. I knew it. Okay, Chopsley, get the auxiliary. Get the auxiliary right away. Hurry, hurry. We'll be back in just a minute, friends. Don't worry about it. I knew this would happen. Hurry, Chopsley. Oh, beautiful, Chopsley. It's coming up. You see that? A little more, a little more. Yeah, we got to get it up to two kilowatts. That's just about it. Okay, we've got full power now. Keep that, just like that, Chopsley. <laughs> All right, friends, uh, the electric boys are going to be really surprised to see some little gadget like this working. Well, it's something you may not know. You see, there happens to be a federal energy law that states that anyone capable of generating their own electricity and has more than they can use, <laughs> guess what? The local electric company must buy up the remaining electricity from them. <laughs> now do you get the picture? Well, suppose, just suppose some obscure genius happened to come up with a way of giving every household in this country its own little self-producing power plant. <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think that would do to the boys, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. This is a little toy they like to play with. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> this happens to be a full-size nuclear power plant. And this power plant can produce, I mean, electrical power that three times cheaper than most methods. That's the good news. The bad news is, it costs billions of dollars to build these things. <laughs> and guess who has to pay for the building costs? <laughs> you got it. You and me. <laughs> and you know I'm not going to sit around and let these characters melt down Mammy's money. <laughs> so get ready for a little fallout, my friends. A little fallout with the electric powers that be, so to speak. You see, they don't want you to know this, but anything this size, Anything this size can be built in miniature, just like this over here. Something that big can be built this small. Just like years ago when they built the first computer, it was the size of a building. Now it's the size of your wristwatch. That's right. And the same holds true with nuclear power plants, my friends. It just so happens, <laughs> get ready. I have come up with a portable nuclear generator that will not only work in your own backyard, my friends, but in your own apartment as well. <laughs> now, I know, of course, uh, some of you are already thinking, my goodness, how can we allow nuclear equipment in the hands of the public? Oh, ye of little faith 
and dwarf comprehension? <laughs> Do I look like some kind of nut that would put something out on the market that would be dangerous to the public? <laughs> oh, of course not. Absolutely not. And even if there was an accidental meltdown, my friends, I mean, you're only looking at a little pothole about a thousand feet deep in the ground. I mean, after all, that wouldn't... Chopsley, keep it up. The lights are falling. Keep it up higher, Chopsley. They won't be able to... Chopsley, pump harder. Oh, you idiot. All right, all right, all right. Just, just do the best you can. Friends, we're going to have to run to the little, uh, the little entertainment for a moment till we get the generator going. And don't go away from this one. You're going to be in on it. Go ahead, roll to that little feature, and we'll be right back. Chopsley, try to, try to get to... Lady, don't worry about nuclear energy. I can explain the whole thing, all right? Just tune in with everybody else, okay? I tell you. Oh, there you are. I'm getting all kind of calls. People are worried. They don't, they don't really understand. That's why they're worried. You see, if you understood how the atom works, you wouldn't be worried. Now, let me explain. I can tell you more in one minute about nuclear fission than you've learned in your entire life. Step over here quickly. As a matter of fact, as you know, probably know, the atom, the little atom is the smallest bit of matter of chemical properties. In other words, you can manipulate it chemically. But within that atom, you have a core inside the atom. And inside that little hard core, tiny core, you have a lot of protons and neutrons, just subparticles. And the problem is they're all jammed together by the forces of nature. That's all. A core within a core. And what happens when we create nuclear energy? We create fission. Now, fission means separation. And when you bombard those neutrons and protons with the isotope from the element of uranium-235. <laughs> All you chemists know that. When you bombard that isotope into those neutrons and protons, they split. And when they split, they cause a chain reaction to all the other neutrons and protons. And I'm telling you, you get a lot of energy charged into the air. And that's how we control nuclear energy. And of course, it's the amount of bombardment that creates the amount of power you get. And that's how simple the whole situation is. Of course, we do deal in radioactivity. And that's why I have this rubber suit on with the lead built inside of it. All right, Chopsley, I think you can get off the bike. We have more energy now. That ought to last us about 10 minutes until I need you to pump it up, you know, for the high wattage. In fact, get the, uh, get the uh, rods, okay? And be very careful. Chopsley is going to get the fuel rods. Now, I know that's going to excite a lot of you scientists out there because fuel rods are radioactive, made up of carbon. And of course, in this particular case, we already have the neutrons built into the, to the fuel rods. And they go inside this little portable generator here. And it's a miniature nuclear power plant. We have the silo here where the steam comes out. We have the, the little reactor here. This is where all the pressure is built up. You see, when we split and bombard the little particles, it creates energy. And the water from this hose, right from the garden hose, runs right into your little plant here. And then, boy, when that hot atomic energy hits that water, it creates steam into the generator. And then the generator, of course, kicks the little turbines over. And that's where we get all the energy. That's when we flip this on and attach it to your house just like a dynamo. And, of course, a little vapor comes out here. And that's all there is. It's very quiet. There's no noise and no cost. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that later. All right, Chopsley, get that over here. Bring it in here while I get my lead suit on. All right, this is a little dangerous. And, of course, everybody that will own a kit will... Uh, I'll tell you about this later. You'll get, you'll get one of these suits so that you'll be able to do this. You see, we have a slight problem. I'll explain later. We cannot sell the entire thing put together, so we can only sell it in kit form. All right. What we're going to do... All right, get away from here, Chopsley. This, this, this is radioactive. I'm going to open up the container and pull out the fuel rod and put it... Wait a minute. I'm going to put it inside... Right inside the generator there. All right. Here we go. Put my hood on. Okay. Put the helmet on, put the head on here. All right, let me get here, pull the top off. Okay. Uh -oh. All right, stand back. Chopsley, get away from here now. This is radioactive. Okay, you can see, friends, there it is, the fuel rod. That is a fuel rod. That's what you'll be handling. Of course, you can't touch it. Uh-oh, wait a minute, I forgot to put my gloves on. Oh, no. Oh, gee. Well, I'm not touching it. I... Get a little radiation, won't hurt you. Even the hospitals use it for patients here and there. All right, we're gonna put it inside, inside the cylinder, like that. Okay, let's take the top off, put the cap on. All right, <laughs> there it is. Uh, 
That's how simple it is. No radiation hit me. Get rid of Chopsley. Now we're going to turn it on and make some history here. First time you've ever seen a home nuclear power plant turned on. Just like when Thomas Edison turned on all the lights at Menlo Park years ago. He said, may the world have light. <laughs> I'm going to say something famous before I throw this switch, Chopsley. At the count of one, let me say the famous words, then you pump it up high, okay? Let's see. Oh, oh we're already up to 48, 48 kilowatts. Okay, we've got to get up to 50, so keep pumping. Pick it up. Let's see. I'll think of something. Oh, I got something here. Yeah. Let there be power. Power to the world. Now, power to the people. Okay, let's build it up. Oh, it's 49. Right, I'm counting down. Five, four, three, two, two, one, one, one. Faster, you idiot! Oh, there we go. What did you do, you idiot? Oh, go ahead and run back to your little entertainment, folks. Everything will be okay. Chopsley, you the biggest dummy I've ever seen. We've got to keep that water going, Chopsley. Keep that water pressure up. Oh, well, there you are. I knew you'd be back shortly. Look at this. <laughs> Everything's working. Of course, you know, once in a while, a few things happen with people like Chopsley working around here, but we do everything in the open. We don't pre-rehearse anything. You know that. Everything's live right here on your television. Well, here it is, and of course, the big news is we're kicking up to 100,000 watts of electricity. You know what that means? That means I've got 75,000 watts I don't need. And guess what? Big moment. We're going to call the electric company. <laughs> oh, they're waiting for us. I know it. Hello, operator. Morgus again. Oh, it's you. Huh? Well, put me right through, honey. Oh, that's right. You're a fellow. Okay, put me right through, will you please? <laughs> Same guy. <coughs> Hello. Uh, Mor yeah, you're waiting for me, right? <laughs> they're watching the program, of course. All right, guess what? I've got... That's right, 75,000 watts, and you people are forced by federal law to buy the extra electricity from us. All right, I want it done tonight, or I'm going to have you before a court. <laughs> Boy, they're shaking up. They don't like this at all. And that's where you come in, friends. Guess what? You're going to be able to get in on this. We're already putting this out in kit form. You see, the government will not allow us to sell a completed nuclear device. It's against the law, right? <laughs> but the laws are made to have loopholes. <laughs> and I have attorneys, and Eric does a lot of legal research, and we found out that you can sell the parts to a nuclear device, but you cannot sell the device. So we have come up with a do-it-yourself kit, and that's what Chopsley is putting together here. Very simple do-it-yourself kit, a foolproof kit. As a matter of fact, you get the leaded radiation suit, <laughs> of course, you get the reactor section and the generator and, of course, the reactor tank here, the compression tank. You get all the parts. You even get the fuel rods in here. Everything, including the silo and, of course, last but not least, <laughs> the instructions. And, of course, we make the instructions very simple. And uh, you just follow the instructions as they are. You can see I've got, what is this here, Morgus Home Nuke. And we explain everything in about seven simple little steps. Believe me, a child could do this. As a matter of fact, uh, Chopsley, I want to prove something here. I want you to put this quickly together and show them how you can build a, a quick nuclear power plant. Quickly, do it in one minute. I'll give you one minute while I show them a little, a little something here. What I'm going to do, friends, oh, wait a minute. I'm going to show you something here. I've been getting calls. I've been getting calls from people concerned, concerned about the waste. Everybody says, oh, this is a great idea, but... <laughs> What happens to nuclear waste? That's the big question, right? Wrong. <laughs> you see, my friends, I have also come up with a recycling device. Imagine being able to recycle radioactive waste. And that's what we have here. And we'll be making radioactive pellets. You see, you just pour the waste into the little funnel here. And down it goes and it solidifies and makes the pellets that we put into the fuel rods. All right, we just turn that on, <laughs> and that's all it takes. Now, of course, you'll have these also in your kit, and once a month, someone will come around, just like the old milkman used to come around, pick up the milk bottles, we'll come around and pick up the nuclear waste from your reactor, and it'll be as simple as that. <laughs> all right, Chopsley, you got... What? What do you have here? What are you doing? Give me that. Oh, you idiot, what are you trying? Oh, this is stupid. Look, look, folks, uh, don't, don't, don't pay attention. Chopsley just read the thing. 
entirely wrong. Ladies, you'll be able to do this. Believe me, it's very simple. Give us just a few seconds here. Look, Chopsley, you are the... Actually, we're actually over 100,000 watts. <laughs> they'll, they'll have to pay for every... Oh, <laughs> you folks came at the right time. The electric company has arrived. The men are downstairs. The cables are coming up. <laughs> oh, excuse me just a moment here. That couldn't be the electric company. They just got here. Oh, yes, what are you... Hi there, I came right over. I was watching uh, TV. I was watching on TV. I'm not going to miss this deal, I'll tell you that. Last time you were cloning those $100 bills? <laughs> not me, buddy. I'm getting here now. The place was packed last time. Who are you? Clancy, Clyde Clancy. I just live right down the street. Oh, well, no wonder. Yes, because we haven't announced to people yet that they could come down and buy the kits. I only have three. But uh, oh, okay. you realize what you're getting into here now. You're not afraid of atomic energy, are afraid? you? <laughs> I'm afraid. Are you kidding me? I put my kids' gym set together last Christmas. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh that's a very clever guy. <laughs> well, as you say, that's again. what they tell me. All right. Well, I tell you what. You know, federal regulations, uh, by the way, make it impossible for us to sell the equipment. So you'll have to buy the parts. And I have to ask you some very complicated questions. But if you can answer the first three questions. Mm -hmm. You don't have to answer the rest of them. See, we can get by the federal regulations. Okay. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. uh, yes or no? Yes or no questions? Okay. Are you a citizen of this country? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, are you aware that what you are purchasing are parts to a nuclear power plant? Yes, yes. All right, all right. He is aware. I have witnesses. Now, do you have $1,000? Yes, yes, I do. Oh, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't have to answer the rest now. <laughs> you got $1,000 right there? Right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. hey. There you go. Uh, let's have it all, fella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every bit. $100 mm -hmm. bills. All right. I like people that deal in cash. Uh, by the way, uh, this does have a warranty of some sort, doesn't it? Oh, does it have a warranty? Yeah. We have a lifetime warranty. A right. lifetime. Lifetime warranty. How can you have a lifetime warranty on that nuclear thing then? Well, it's very simple. You see, we don't have very many moving parts, you see, that can break down. Mm -hmm. Actually, the only thing that could possibly happen, it could blow up. I mean, you know, very rare chance it could blow up. But if it blew up, it would kill you, and that would end the lifetime warranty. <laughs> I, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> of course it makes <laughs> yeah, sense. All right, Chopsley, let's get him ready here. The box is over here, Chopsley. Just take it on downstairs for him. Be very careful. You know that. All right, Mr. Clancy, now I have just one, one little thing to give you here. This, of course, is a little, a little dangerous now. This is, this is a, a fuel rod here. It goes inside. You'll see in the little instruction sheets, very simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, and don't forget, it's radioactive. <laughs> radio, yeah, I've got a radio. Okay, yeah. all right, you take care of it. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Tell your friends about it. We'll be producing them in about a month or two. Okay, we're taking it from the roof here. Hey, what is this? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, okay, oh, okay, we got this people. here. Hey, fellow. All right, where's this generator we're supposed to tie this thing into? Now, wait a minute, what are you doing up on my roof here? The electric company. <laughs> of course, I knew that. Bring it over here. All right, I want you to uh, plug it in right here into this little generator. You know, that thing, you got to be kidding. What kind of a gadget is that? Gadget? <laughs> fellow, this happens to be a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Say that again? A nuclear power plant. Well, that's what I thought you said. Listen, I... Well, what kind of work do you do around here anyway? You ever watch television? Well, sometimes. I work the night shift mostly. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. You're that famous doctor on television. Dr. Morgus. Of course I'm Dr. Morgus. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Bring it in here. Your people down there know me, I'll tell you that. Oh, you really got their goat. Yeah. Well, before the night's over, I'm going to get their money. <laughs> Believe me. Now, just hook that up in there. Okay. And I'm going to show you a little something out front. Got right? it. All right. Come around here. Now, I'm going to show you where I really get their goat. You see this? I got over 100,000 watts bumping out. <laughs> Ooh, They're going to pay me $1,000 a month, all right? And you tell them it's $1,000 a month. And by the way, if they're one day late... Tell them they're going to pay me $1,100 a month. Okay? That's great. You're doing to them what they do to others. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it. You tell them that. <laughs> you bet. Uh-huh. Now we're going to go right back and give it to them. Oh, speaking of that, let's go right back and uh, get the rest of this little story for you. And we'll be back in a few minutes, friends. <laughs> uh, we got some money coming. Far in the corner as you can. Then I want you to get the checklist and check every single item before it goes into the next crate, okay? Oh, ho, ho. 
We've been getting a lot of calls. Now you see people are excited about having a nuclear power plant in their apartments or their homes. <laughs> it's not so ridiculous anymore now that you understand. But please realize we cannot take phone orders. I mean, federal regulations prohibit the sale of nuclear devices by telephone. So you'll have to come down here. Oh, oh, that may be a, a customer here. We only have two kits left for this week. Oh, William Hamilton. Oh, you're with the electric company. Oh, a vice president, huh? You're in a good position, doctor. Oh, yes, I am in a good position. <laughs> of course. To avoid any more unfortunate publicity, we'd like to work out an economic arrangement with you. Oh, of course we'd you We'd give would. you complete creative control of your device in a first-class laboratory, and in turn, you'd grant us an exclusive development license for your device, and when the time was right, we would bring it to the public. Oh, I see. Uh, I would cooperate with you and actually work for you, wouldn't I? Yes, we'd be partners. Oh, we'd be partners. Oh, uh, sir, I tell you what, partner, uh, step over here, sir. <laughs> I, you know, you folks at the power company really get to me. I tell you what, you know, I really like you people. <laughs> but I tell you, I'm not interested. Do you know what I have here, fellow? <laughs> you know what I have here, fellow? Power. You know what power is? I don't mean only nuclear power. I mean power over people like you that are taking my checks every month for electricity. <laughs> I'm buying part of nature from you, and I've got the nature right in here. I'm making my own nature for myself and my friends. What do you think of that? That's what I have here in miniature. I don't need these big places like your building. How much are you charging for this, Doctor? A thousand dollars for each one. A simple... That's ridiculous. With the proper help, you could get at least $10,000 a unit. And that's peanuts, because with the proper capital structure, if you went into the joint venture market, you could multiply your earnings in a public offering and make millions. Look, I don't want to belong to any company of yours. Forget the company. Forget the company, just me. I'd come and help you do it. I have talent. They've never recognized my talent. We could do it together, Doctor. And I'd have the, con I mean, we'd have control and power. Power oh, for the oh. people. Of course, you and me. You would leave the company and, and, and. Yes, yes, in a minute. They're dinosaurs, they're ages. Past, we'd be part of the new era, you and I. <laughs> Suddenly, you and I, friends. <laughs> he wants a piece of the action, in other words. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who am I talking to? Oh, oh you didn't know? We're on national television. This is a national science program. You mean all of this was public? Yes, yes, of course. You didn't know that? It's a terrible mistake. A misunderstanding. I don't know what I'm going to say. I, I think... No, it's not going to work, Doctor. Obviously, it's just not the right thing. And uh, good, good day. Good evening. Yes, yes. And you're not going to work either, sir. <laughs> Unless you go down to the newsstand. They need somebody down there. <laughs> well, it looks like the big boys are going to be playing with the little boys from now on. <laughs> Oh, speaking of that, let's let the little boys and girls uh, go back to that little entertainment over there at the station, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. More's coming. <laughs> Get it ready, Chop. All right. That'll take care of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, we had a little fun tonight, didn't we, with that little entertainment. I have to congratulate the station. Occasionally, they come up with a pretty weird one. <laughs> But this isn't weird, as you know, my friends, only to the big boys at the power companies. And in one minute, you're going to see something you didn't believe possible. Hold on for one minute. <laughs> Just take it easy. Take it easy, Chaffley. All right, take it to the staircase and then get on back in here. Oh, there they are. Well, I just got rid of the last of the little kits here. Actually, we could only produce three prototypes. Uh, it's a little expensive to, to put all this out at once, but I wanted you to see how this could work. And more than anything, we are helping the world. We are bringing nuclear energy within the reach of every human being and every hard-working person. We're not going to be throwing away money on these ridiculous billion-dollar facilities. That's where the money's going, not into power itself. It's going into the buildings. <laughs> Billions of dollars. 
And of course, you dear old ladies who have been calling, thanking me for explaining the, the safety of nuclear power. Now you understand that nuclear energy is not something to be frightened about. It's something you can use for your own benefit. You saw me tonight. I put these fuel rods in here, radioactive fuel rods inside. You don't see me glowing in the dark, do you? <laughs> oh, what could that be? Yes, what is it? I got a problem. A little problem. Now look, uh, Clancy, <laughs> I can't understand how you have a problem. You, you had the instructions, didn't you? Read the instructions? Who reads the instructions? You said it was simple? You said uh, it was a simple thing? Well, well, what happened? What could be wrong? It's smoking. The whole thing is smoking. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. It's not supposed to smoke. I mean, it couldn't be smoking. It's smoking. That sounds like a burn down. It couldn't be a... Look, I'll come over to your house. We'll fix it right now. Oh, there's no need to do that. I got it right here. You, you yeah. have it here? Yeah, I got it right here. You, you, you brought it here? I got it right here. You gotta be kidding. Hmm. Uh, well, look, uh, t take it easy. I mean, uh... oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, uh... well, it's gonna be all right, friend. I mean, I could... well, how did you get into this? What did you do? Well, I was putting it together. I was taking this silly little cylinder no, no. thing, no. you know, down in the middle. No, 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 like no, that that... Thing is, that's radioactive. You don't want to touch that with your hand. It's radioactive. It's radioactive. Charlie. You take this and get it out of here. Charlie, throw it. Get it away. I don't want that. Don't, don't, don't give it to me. Charlie, get it out of here. Throw it to me. Tune in next week when Morgus, the magnificent, takes us into the realm of science. Good night. Pleasant dreams. <laughs>